this legislation gets through Congress, this place closes, my company goes down to tubes. There are people these days out gunning for any industry that supposedly destroys the ozone layer. Or so they claim. It isn't like I didn't warn you about this place. As my congressman, I hoped you'd have the guts to keep those eco-freaks off my back. Maybe I've wasted my campaign contributions on you. But there's technology available to clean up this plant. Who's going to pay for it? You? Hey, take it easy. Maybe I can kill the legislation in committee. You haven't stopped it yet. <laughs> yeah, but I got a new plan. I'm going to take a fact-finding tour of the swamp, then I'm going to report back to the committee that uh, it's not an endangered area. Then get on it. Either that legislation gets flushed or your next campaign does. What are those environmental wackos getting so worked up for? It's a swamp, for God's sake. What's a swamp got to do with anything? earlier, Congressman. Will's leaving today for a four-day trip with some uh, fishermen. Mm. It's been on the books for weeks. Thank you. Needless to say, uh, my time is very tight. Of course, the uh, environmental issue is of the utmost importance. Well, I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Well, unless you take him, Tressa. Come on. I mean, you know as much about the swamp as anyone. Uh, no, I couldn't. I'd be, uh, I'd be very grateful. Tressa. Think what it would mean to Alec to have Uncle Sam get involved and see what's really going on out here. If it helps the swamp and the environment, it's my pleasure. We'll have to get an early start, though. Uh, say 7 a.m.? Fine. The sooner I can report to my colleagues in Congress, the better. See you in the morning. I'll walk with you, Congressman. I, I've got some questions about the swamp I'd like to ask you. I got this uh, album. Of all the gin joints in the world, and Tressa Langford has to come to this one. Oh, Alan. Mm. Close. It's Tressa Kip now. Really? I used to know someone much like you. Huh? Maybe she got married. Who's to say? Of course, if it is the former Miss Langford, this would be an incredible coincidence. Alan, I haven't seen you in years. I got an assignment for a magazine article, Mysteries of the Swamp. I'm billing Huma as the Bermuda Triangle with moss. <laughs> so you got any weird stories for me? Well, my divorce might count as one. So much for the Kip explanation. But then again, Alan, you're probably the weirdest thing to hit this town in quite a while. So you won't mind having dinner with me? For curiosity's sake. Mm -hmm. Last time we went out, you started a food fight in a four-star restaurant. You were throwing duck a la rage across the room. <laughs> Duck's gotta fly, I gotta be me. Oh, Alan. So? All I remember about college are the parties. Everything else, like classes, is kind of fuzzy. You don't remember graduation? Vaguely. <laughs> You were totally butt naked underneath your graduation gown. <laughs> you, you picked up your diploma, bent over, and mooned the audience. Is that what I did? I thought it was required when you got a BA degree. Yeah, right. What I can't believe is how a complete maniac like you ever got a job in the real world. It wasn't easy. The only time I felt life was worthwhile is when I went backpacking. So I wrote an article about it and sold it to a magazine. Stories about the environment were heating up back then. Suddenly, I was in demand. Mm. I read an article of yours, it was something about um, the future. I'll be damned if I can remember a word of it. It was something about um, parallel worlds. Yeah, there's a theory that future ecosystems already exist in microenvironments today. It's an idea the French have played with for years. Well, they can keep playing with it. I didn't understand it then, I'm not sure I'd understand it now. 
Tuning into what was happening to the environment changed my life. It made me grow up. I was a big jerk in college. If it hadn't been for you taking notes in the classes I missed and cramming me for tests, I'd never have graduated. You're the best pal I had. Yeah, and you made me laugh. I needed that back then. Oh, look, I have an early morning tomorrow. Oh, a U.S. congressman wants me to take him on a fact-finding tour of the swamp. Hey, you know, you could turn him into an ecological expert in no time. I always avoid exercising congressmen in the morning. <laughs> take an expert to see that the swamp is being damaged by pollutants. It's a very delicate area. Well, I believe that responsible industry is no threat to Mother Nature. And nothing I've seen today convinces me that any permanent damage is being done. Well, wouldn't that take a long-term study to determine? Yeah, there have been too many studies done already. I mean, all this ballyhoo about the ozone layer. <laughs> I mean, some studies flat out contradict each other. All depends on who you want to believe. You don't have to tell me which side you're on. What, what? I'm taking over the tour. Alan, for God's sakes! You know this area as well as anyone, Tressa. You can make it back to Huma by yourself. What are you gonna do? Send you to school. Oh, Alan, if this is some kind of a joke, it's not a very funny one. I stopped joking a long time ago. Just about the same time I found out places like this were being wiped out while fat cats sat on their thumbs. Let's go. Come on. Presser. Alec, oh, I've been looking for you. I was taking Congressman Newton on a research tour, and he was kidnapped. And you escaped? Not exactly. Kidnapper is an old friend of mine, Alan Harris. He's gone off the deep end. Harris? I've been watching him. I thought he was doing research for a magazine article. You've heard of him? He has a thorough understanding of science and an immense respect for nature. But to kidnap a congressman? Doesn't sound like Alan. We need to find his camp. I can't go any further. All right, take a break. Look, Harris, whatever it is you want, I can arrange it. Just please let me go. Look, kidnapping a U.S. congressman is insane. Tell me something. Is kidnapping more insane than contaminating our planet's air and water or making thousands of plant and animal species extinct? I don't know. But kidnapping is against the law. There's something in the swamp that doesn't give a damn about your law. It's following nature's law, and it is scaring the hell out of me. You have no idea what your industrial pals are doing around here. Less than a mile from here, I have made a fantastic discovery. An alternative ecosystem. One that has been damaged by ultraviolet radiation because the ozone layer is so thin. You cut out the gibberish. I'm finding evidence of mutated organisms. New strains of bacteria. Do you know what kind of diseases bacterial mutations might create? And if the ozone layer breaks down much further, it's only gonna get worse. See, because of people like you, life on Earth might be wiped out. So the light will blind you. What happened to them? Burnouts. They're here to die. Take them. They must be judged.
wouldn't wander off in the swamp all night. He has to know better than that. He may know more than you realize. I'm certain that local industry has depleted the ozone layer, causing the future ecosystems I've discovered in the swamp. Now that I've found this gateway to the future, my next move is to go through. <laughs> he actually thinks he can step into the future? What is that, nuts or what? In the swamp, anything is possible, Tressa. I am living proof of that. Outsiders. Where did they come from? Look at their skin. They don't have the sickness yet. I'm a U.S. congressman. I demand you. There is no more United States. No president or Congress. All of them dead. This guy's loonier than you are. Shut up, Newton. You might learn something. I won't shut up. Where are we? I demand answers. Stayed there last night. No, not last night. A long time ago. What's today's date? 2031. 2031, it's impossible. What's the matter, Congressman? Your election campaign said you were the man for the future, didn't it? Over there. Footprint showing where Allen and Congressman Newton entered the clearing, but none showing which way they left. They just vanished. So Allen found a way into the future and took Congressman Newton with him. That's what you're saying. So where are they now? Can they ever return? Perhaps. If we can change the conditions that created the accelerated future ecosystem, we might be able to bring them back. Uh, change the present and the future they're we'll in. Will cease to exist, and they'll be forced back to the original timeline. Great, so what, we just changed the world. Not the entire world. Just the local industry that he wrote about that damaged the swamp and created the future that Allen and Newton may have found. Local industry, like the chemical plant. Congressman Newton talked about killing legislation that involved the new chemical plant. This is incredible. These people need medical attention. There's no cure for what they have. Don't you get it? They're being attacked by mutant strains of bacteria that didn't exist in our time. You mean I could catch this? We've got to get out of here. <laughs> we can't. Congressman, this is the future. You can't escape destiny. I wrote hundreds of articles, published them all over the world. I begged, I pleaded. The whole damn planet was dying and nobody would do anything to stop it. Fools, idiots. Why'd you let it happen? You could have done something about it, but you stood by and did nothing. The elders have been asked to decide the fate of two outsiders. The facts are these. We have no food for outsiders. We have no skins for outsiders. We have no need for outsiders. Before they make judgment, will anyone speak for these men? It was a plague, wasn't there? It was a plague of the skin, am I correct? Large pustules, decaying skin, eventual death. That's what happened to the burnouts, isn't it? You took them out to die. The ozone layer was destroyed. The world was bombarded by ultraviolet rays. Cancers developed. Deadly melanomas. You started wearing animal skins to protect yourselves from the sun. But you couldn't protect yourselves from the bacteria that mutated in the swamp water, creating diseases no one had ever heard of or imagined. The 
the plague swept across the land as God's hand might cast a shadow from the sun. Touching every living creature on Earth. Every human being, young, old. Male, female alike, knew that soon they would perish. As death stalked the families, prayers were said, tears fell. Nothing could stop the plague. But the ultimate damnation came from our own desire, not of nature. Now do you see? It's you, isn't it? Well kept. Once. But I haven't been in for a very long time. Since you know what happened, you must also realize the elders have no choice in their decisions. We cannot let you go. You might bring other outsiders back with you. The sentence for outsiders is... death. No! Let me go! This plant is a disaster waiting to happen. I don't believe this. It's a nightmare, a hoax of some sort. Come on, Newton, it's just extinction. Or is that just something that happens to other species? You want a chance to live, just like everything else that was alive on this planet, human or not. Self-righteous to the very end, aren't you? Martyr enjoys dying for his cause. Oh, I mind dying. I mind very much. It's just I've had longer to adjust to the idea than you. You remember that environmental demonstration about five years ago? The one that stopped barges from hauling toxic waste on the Mississippi River? Figures. Well, I joined the demonstrators and tried to cut a tow line. A member of the tug's crew opened barrels of waste and poured them on us. A few months later, I started getting headaches, blurry vision, dizzy spells, and then I found out I wasn't the only one. Four of our group had already died. Looks like I'm next. I'm sorry. You'd be sorry for all the lives you could have saved if you hadn't helped create the hell we're in now. You could have made a difference, Congressman, but you did nothing. It's time. I don't want to die! The scent of chemicals is overpowering. I feel weak. But the plant doesn't have a permit to operate yet. That hasn't stopped them. They've started up illegally. I'm certain pollution from this created the future Alan found. Then this is what we have to change to get them back? Justice. Appreciate it while you can. You helped destroy the environment, now it repays the debt.
know things were gonna turn out like this. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What happened? We're alive. What the? What's that? It's a friend, Congressman. A friend? You saved your life. I can't believe you, Newton, after all you've just been through. How can you be surprised by anything? What happened to your hand? I, uh, <laughs> it's a souvenir. To remind me where I've been. Tressa, it was fantastic. The article that I wrote about future ecosystems, I was right. We were in Huma in the year 2031. It was worse than anything I'd ever imagined. I still don't understand it. How did we get back? We shut down the chemical plant you allowed to operate illegally. That was the source of the future of your experience. When I get back to Washington, I'll see to it it's shut down for good. You can't believe the suffering that those people went through. Nice people. Families. Your legislation will only postpone it, Newton. More has to be done. We have got to do more. Tressa, you have to help the swamp, no matter what happens to me. Of course I will. Nothing's going to happen to you. You're safe now, Alan. Mankind must learn that nature cannot be ignored. Our future doesn't start tomorrow. It begins today. Choose wisely.